I'm Dr. Deutsch from the Gestalt School. I believe that the whole is more than the sum of the parts. I'm Professor Gregory. I'm so clever I have my own theory of illusions. I tell you, it's all about depth cues. Look at the Muller Lyre illusion. Oh yes well I can explain this one too. Let the best man win. Since Westerners grow up in rectangular buildings they get used to seeing the image of the corner of a room. Ah, so what? Well using the ideas of linear perspective and size constancy, if something is far away we scale it up. We know all the walls are the same height. So if the fins are pointing out what it's like a letter Y, you think the line is further away and therefore you scale it up and it seems bigger. Is that right? Exactly. When the fins point down the line is at the front, nearer to us, so we scale it down. Ah oh, but have you seen the illusion with the fins replaced with circles? It still works. Ah oh, darn it, I can't explain that. Well I can. When the fins or circles extend beyond the line, the whole shape looks bigger. So we see the line is longer. It's the gestalt idea of organizing the parts into a coherent whole. Okay so you win this time. But I can definitely explain the Ponzo illusion better than you. My railway tracks idea is brilliant. I claim the con is a triangle. Necker cube. Rubens vase. Brings illusion. Ratman and Leaper's Lady. Well I have the Zulus on my side. What do you mean, the Zulus? Zulus live in circular houses and they don't get fooled by distortion illusions. I still say my explanation is better, you can't get round the Muller lie with circles. Yes but you can't explain any other distortions apart from the Muller liar. Not one. You're hopeless at ambiguous figures. Okay let's call it a draw and go for a drink. Agreed, the red lion or the black horse.